Hello friends and once again welcome to BISPSolutions.com with my business partner Tricon Technology Group. My name is Amit and today I am going to show you how to add new revenue category in Oracle Enterprise Planning and Budgeting Financial Module. So when you configure Enterprise Planning and Budgeting Module, you get some default financial categories revenue by categories but as part of your implementation you may like to add new revenue categories as well so if you look at my screen you see there are a set of revenue categories revenue by product revenue by service and support in case you like to add additional revenue category how would you do that so in order to achieve this the first step you need to go to application configuration and add new revenue category from overview, sorry, from configuration, select your application, financial module, and because it's a revenue account, select the revenue account, and it fall under total revenue. These are the existing revenue category, product, service, support. I'm going to add one new revenue category. In case you need to add multiple, you can export into Excel modify the excel sheet and import back you can also create a job and schedule this activity so in this case i am going to add only one revenue category therefore i can add it directly from here so this is called business consulting so another revenue category i have business consulting and i like to add a alias business consulting and Time balance property I like to use continue as flow and data type as currency. Once you make the changes, basically all the changes you make over here, it modify add dimension member under your dimension. Therefore, because it's an application level change, therefore we require to refresh our database. So you can refresh your database as schedule, as a job or on demand. I'm going to do it right away. It takes few minutes, one or two minutes. So we wait for this activity to be completed. So as you see the refresh of SBS cube done. Now we can see the member dimension member we added where it is going to be added under your account dimension. Fine. So let's close this and check where the member got added. So behind the screen, you can actually check under dimension navigator select your cube is OEP financial cube under financial dimension it's revenue OFS revenue planning and basically all the predefined dimension member appear under revenue account predefined revenue account but we added a new custom defined dimension member which fall under total revenue and this is a newly created member called business consulting right so once you edit this member you can see the member will appear in your different data form and dashboard so when you go to your revenue dashboard and you scroll down you can see the new member appear called business consulting right in addition to this you can also check in various the various the data form like uh, driver based revenue in this you can see business consulting new member got added the next step is to load some data so this is all historical data therefore if it is budget data and forecast data you can add it directly but this is historical data therefore I can add this data from backend I already prepare a data file for the same called fin data business consulting so if you look at this data file it has business consulting so my account dimension member is business consulting our data file is ready let's load this data and finally we'll check data appear into our application or not so go back to your home page from application overview you can schedule this data load or you can load it on demand select your cube 
and action import data the data file i already created i'll just click on create i'm loading from my local file system so this is my data file fin data business consulting you can validate to ensure that you don't have any inconsistency with data and import the moment you import it submit as a job file under job you can check and you see the import process is going on and after a few seconds we see once import get finished it seems we have some reject we can check the cause of reject so i see there are 1303 records process and 112 records got rejected so this is fine there are some member does not exist it's absolutely okay uh, if some records are not exist for now for the sake of testing i'm going to ignore this and i'll continue test my application for the dimension member data we loaded exist or not to so go to financial module revenue and there now you can see your business consulting new revenue category in addition to this you can check data over here as well driver based revenue this is your business consulting right and you can in turn perform an adjustment on top of this so this is how you can add a new revenue category followed by this you can load data and finally you can check the output under your dashboard and different data form so that's it for today should you have any question please feel free to write to us this is our number and url thank you